It's your boy Geek Funny, and welcome to another episode of the Real Geek Funny Podcast. Listen, I'm gonna start off by before I even introduce my cast and my co-host, I'm going to say that I want to apologize. We back on it, you know what I'm saying? Angel cussed me out, and she said, "Listen, it would never happen again. We're not missing weeks." And let me start off by saying, Mean Girl Angel is here today. Uh, the style you got on today, we gonna just go off the style right now. The glasses are good, okay? You're killing them. We just want to know, can you see out them? Are they 3D or are they just like how they going? Can you see through us? Yep. Okay. She got a little attitude today. Don't don't worry about her. Don't worry about her. I'm sitting here to my right. I got my man. Listen, before I'm gonna just introduce him like this, man. Y'all know the movie Last Strike come out February 24th. This Thursday will be in Theaters Down Studio Movie Grill. If you don't got your tickets for Thursday, Sunday, I'll be there again, 4 30 and 7 p.m. Uh the reason I'm saying that this man right here with Khalif Jones, okay. I, Khalif Jones, we're going to get to the, the, our backstory of how we met each other a long time ago, but this is the guy. This is the executive producer and the writer of Last Strike. Khalif Jones, what's up? Thanks for being here today. Hey, what's up, man? Appreciate y'all having me. Yes, sir. Then my man, Billboard Dev, doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> Holding up the self-love book by my guy again, Khalif Jones. He put KD Jones on here, you know, because he want like niggas know he hoop and write. Uh. <laughs> They he used to go by Skyleaf. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, but self-love is the book. Uh what inspired you to write this, man? I just was, you know, going through some dark times and found myself in, you know, kind of the same toxic relationships and, you know, asked myself why was I in them for so long. And a lot of it was just I was looking for something in them that I didn't have in myself. So okay. that kind of inspired me to write it. And I just figured that it helped a lot of other people and um just going through similar situations. Yeah. So I I I can appreciate that. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of us been through toxic relationships. Mean girl likes nobody. Okay, like she don't like niggas in wheelchairs. She don't like niggas with jobs. She don't like niggas uh, that crack their jeans. She don't like none of that. Not, and then Dev, it's not true. He's really a liar. Do okay, you talk about liars in your book. Um, I talk about lying to yourself. <laughs> you know. What about lying to others? Hey Dev, listen to this. Listen to this. Dev, think he's slick. Okay, I'm gonna get the billboard Dev in a minute. Dev don't know that we know that he got the Levi's deal. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was just going to be down there. When no, oh, I'm not wearing nothing today. Dev just, just got a full-blown deal with Levi's. <laughs> That's why he down here with, a, with the thermal look, cut a, quarter cut shirt on. Nice thermal looking shirt under it with the ball head. I thought it was a JCPenney joint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I fucked up. Sorry. I just got him a Levi's deal. Yeah. Dev down there. Best deal with Dev. And, uh, Mean girl, what you what you think about you know having self love? Like, you think you need to love yourself first before you can love others? Oh, she's upset today. She giving us no. I felt. I mean, I thought everybody knew that. I don't think you can. I, I thought that was obvious. I don't know that you love. Oh, so you saying this book is obvious? <laughs> <laughs> you saying anybody could have wrote this? That's what you said. Hey, you listen. Said. Probably anybody could have wrote it. it. No, you, you, I see dude, you skimming. Please, please I don't see you skimming through enough. He but. says, "I know it's your friend and all, but please." I please see you skimming through it. But I see you. Then she over there skimming through it. She's like, oh, "No, that. <laughs> no, that. I was, no, honestly, because I could. I was like." When he said what it was about, I'm like, damn, this book is So like, I, I turned right to me, girl. Like, <laughs> but I, I, I try to keep it simple. Because yeah, I, I, I know a lot of times when, when some people see when some people see books that are like three and four hundred pages, you know, some people get intimidated by it. Who are these people? Look, look, you know, oh. I know, we know. I'm one of them people. If I so see this a book, book is for those listen, people. I try to keep it simple. Oh, okay. You know, even with my, you know, I, I was reading a Will Smith book. Right, he has a book out. It's like four hundred something pages. My first thought was like, wow, I, I really gotta. Take my time and go through this. I don't know how, I don't know when, how how long, you know, but I got to get through it. You know, so that's one of them things where I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to overwhelm anybody and think that anybody couldn't read it. Well, that's when you turn into like an audio or something. That's, that's, hey, those, those are the ones on the books is like read the book 400 the pages. Um, why you don't put pictures in your book? Because I think a picture of Mean Girl should be right here. <laughs> right, right. Uh, <laughs> uh, principle 10. Loving yourself Wait, or page, being what page, what page is this? Page twenty. Because I want to loving yourself all, versus being conceited. Wow. Uh, you want to elaborate that on? You said, <laughs> you said page twenty. <laughs> you want to elaborate on that, Mean Girl? I want to read it. Page twenty. And you wrote no, it. No, 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 no. I, I would, you know, would like for you to read it, starting from the beginning. I don't want anybody to skip through it because it's steps, it's process. Now I want to read this part that he's talking about. What part right, was what that he's talking about? Page twenty. Loving yourself versus being conceited. Oh, that part. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, that part. Give us your insight on the conceited half. That you don't you don't mess with any type of nigga. Remember what, what is it? The nigga that work can't afford her. She don't fuck with nobody that <laughs> make. Uh, I think what did, did we figure out the, the did we salary? get a number? Did we figure out the salary? Something, something this, problems. But see, this is this is see, and I understand what you're saying because this is when it comes to understanding. Okay. Clearly, right. it says loving yourself versus being conceited, and then they jump to money. I don't see what that has to do with anything that's written right. Oh here. no, because some conceited people feel like. I need a person Table that makes a mix of honey. the narrative. Go ahead, Dev. <laughs> no, don't, don't, I, don't Dev, I'm, I'm listening. Get out of people for I'm starts. listening, Dev. <laughs> Dev, I'm listening. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm trying a to get person, it. A person that is conceited might think, I can't fuck with no $40,000, uh, you know, a year nigga. No $60,000 sanitary nigga. No $80,000 teacher ass bull. Eighty thousand dollars teach. Yeah, I'm, I tried to give him that extra bonus. Double. Fuck, you teaching that Drexel? Like, <laughs> yeah, she's not fucking with it. So, what level of teaching? Does when did this become an angel show, Mister Jones? Um, she got I think that. they have some questions for you. We got questions they... for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna piggyback off all your questions back at you. That's gonna be a tennis. Right. We got questions for you. No, we okay. So anyway, man, get your get your self love book. We are gonna get back to this. Um, if you this is self love by Katie Jones, you probably will see another self love book by in about two months from uh, yeah. Mean Grange. You can get it from me directly. You can get it from Amazon Prime, um, and it's also on Barnes and Nobles as well. Oh, there you have it. Yeah, can you help me write a book? No, about <laughs> about hating ass people. I can't. There's no hate in my heart. There's no hate in my I heart. I said, help me. I will write I, it. I, listen, I can guide you. But I can't. There we Yo, go. Yo, did right, you peep you. how fast he told you no? Yeah, that was but you like, see how fast I got him to guide me, too. So, <laughs> Paul, what is going on right I now? You. I got you. <laughs> you see how fast I got him to guide me, too. <laughs> what the hell is going no, on? I got, you. I got you. He giving all Billy D vibes and shit, yeah, too. I got like, some stuff to write about. I got you, girl. Yeah, I got certain you. people. All right. <laughs> I ain't this shit to you, but switch the damn seat. Now she mad at me. She did try to kick him out the seat earlier, y'all. Man, like I said, last strike starring Gee Funny and Sean. Next, I'm um, this Thursday. I'm sorry, this Thursday. Uh, the first is the first showing. Then you got Sunday. We got two showings at uh Studio Movie Girl. We're gonna be at all the premieres. Me and Khalif, Sean, Cass gonna be there. So Khalif, man, but I just gotta ask, like before, when you was writing Last Strike, right? How did you envision me and Sean being the ones to do it? Just um. I don't know. I like y'all bond on, you know, on on when I watch y'all online and just the fatherhood, you know, father and son thing that y'all have. I want to show people opposite, mm. you know, show y'all not knowing each other. Right. Like everybody see y'all doing the videos and, and know y'all relationship, but I wanted to just kind of show y'all in a situation where y'all just meeting for the first time. You sure you did, these ain't the only niggas you knew? <laughs> you sure you, you sure no. you sure you wasn't just like y'all niggas is there so fuck it. I'm it wasn't that easy. I, I, it wasn't that easy. I, I knew that I wanted to do something with them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just didn't know how I was going to do it. You know, uh, but I'm not going to take all the credit. Like this was all me. Nah, this this was this was gay. You know, um, and it just kind of he he told me, bro, I want to do something. Here's what you know things that I want to do, and I just said, all right, we can make it work. And that's how it kind of came together. So this was my first time working with Khalif. I also did a movie with him before, um, before this came, uh, the, the Come Up. The Come Up's yeah. now playing on Tubi, too. It's doing well on Tubi. Yeah. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of screams, a lot of views. Uh, starring uh, uh, me, I'm in that, John, Beanie Seagulls in that, John. You got Beans in there. You got Big Business Greg Parker. You got a son, Young G. Young G. Yeah. Um, you got my man Lum, Chop, so it's, Chop Mosley, part of this. It. It's a yeah. lot, man. So it's like basically... It's like basically a movie. The come up is like basically a movie about a, a young rapper, you know, trying to make it out of the hood, and uh, he just go through all type of turmoil and stuff like that. Just think, think that people go through rapping and basketball players, anything. You know what I'm saying? It's a good movie. So that was my first. That was my first time working with Beans. Uh, Khalif gave me the opportunity to do that. Uh, watching Beans movies growing up, state properties, and that I always wanted to do something with him. So that was good to be a part of that. And he's he's more funnier than I thought. Like, yeah, for sure. Like beans, toys, like toys. What was the other joint? Toy soldiers. Was that one? Paper, paper soldiers. Paper soldiers. Paper, paper soldiers. soldiers. Toy. Oh, still. You talking yeah, about still? No, no. Paper soldiers was the shit. There was Stoo. actually a different joint. Toy soldiers. You had to be an older nigga. I'm toy older. soldiers. I, I you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, you got to be. Older. You had to be older than a geek. So yeah, yeah, that's true. No, it's toy, true. Toy soldiers. I, I do remember that, but I got a chance to work with beans. This movie right here, uh, though, is is crazy because I'm getting almost. I'm also getting to do it with my son, with Sean. Um, 
I get I get to work with some of the actors that uh like Francisco that I wanted to work with, so watching him do trap and things like that. Um, also, it was a project for me and J Tech. Uh, J Tech been with me since I started Geek Funny. Like even before it super blew up, he me and him started to, you know working together. Like yo man, just you could possibly do something with what you're doing. Let's let's do it. And me and J Tech doing a movie now is kind of crazy for us. Him directing the movie, so it, it, it's all full circle. I think everybody's gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Sean was excellent, uh, better than me, of course. Uh, yeah, duh. Yeah, he did good for for his mm, first movie, and that's the obvious <laughs> things like that. But we looking forward to doing more stuff. Like, I gotta, and I gotta ask you: Have you ever written a porn? <laughs> that's just a How question. Do we keep going. No, nah, no. Nah. But but I heard a lot of directors get into that game on their off season when they're not really working. They go down to Florida. They operate under a different name. Mm. Um, me, no, never. J Tech. Great. Um, do have you, you ever operate directed? under a different name? <laughs> have you ever directed a porn? No. Okay, so listen. Could, could you, would write you, a porn, would you, you direct a porn. I'll get the 35 grand. Would you? No, no, I don't think we need the 35 <laughs> grand if we just partner up J Tech and Ainge. So y'all think, think I'm just that stupid? I just think to that. Just, y'all already. Because it's J Tech. Oh, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. So you need something. You know, you could own half the rights where it's just like y'all own the whole thing 50 50 split. Basically, on some Mimi well, shit from well, Love Hip Hop. If I'm involved, I own part of it. I'm not going to be involved in something that I don't own. I think well. J-Tech can handle the filming. <laughs> um, I don't need to own shit. Active. Look, I just need to know when it come out. Like I got to own something. I don't need to own nothing. I just want to know when it come out. <laughs> that's, that's all. What We're is not it going here. Leave me the fuck alone, gig. Cause I uh, do I look like I'm in the mood for your shit? No, nah, not today. <laughs> Them glasses got her on some shit today. But listen, when listen, we get one. I get one calls every time they choose violence once a year. So... <laughs> Today is them glasses, and she chose violence. No, I I feel like every time I walk in the room, y'all fucking with me. Nah, and then y'all it's put true. somebody in my seat. <laughs> you know, it's true, though. So, yeah. okay, so we will never do that again. Thank you. Okay, uh, it's only if she gives the permission, because when uh, Enes was on here, it was her. Enes was sitting here when I came in. Oh, wow. In this seat, and nobody said nothing. You was late. Uh, Leek sat in this seat. Nobody said I nothing. I definitely said something. Yeah, Y'all forget, you, you only, I definitely you only, said, you only said something why you share can't camera. sit over here and I sit over there. That's exactly what I said. So, exactly what I said. Hey, she's really, she's really upset about the seat today, but we're going to... we're gonna. Yeah, <laughs> so she's me, in the Humir seat. Shout out to Humir. Oh, so y'all want to address the elephant in the room? Who made you got fired? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I didn't say that. I don't know. Uh, address I, it. I, you, I, I don't know what you're talking I about. I can't address it. I didn't do anything. You just said you want to address the elephant in the I room. I said, oh, do y'all want to address the elephant in the room? The fact that Humir is absent. <laughs> and I have to sit in this motherfucking seat. So what's the elephant? <laughs> Did you fire Humir this weekend? <laughs> oh, no, what is she talking about? Oh, right. uh, so where is Humir? I don't know. You don't know where Humir is. He, he, just me did a, he just did a no call, no show. <laughs> no, he didn't no call, that's, no show. That's, he, he called. That's unlike okay. Humir because Humir is here every. He's here before yeah. everybody. So he called and quit. <laughs> some, <laughs> some along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't quit, uh, but she, he, she's sitting here today, and okay. he's sitting here. To, you can okay. go back to that seat. Okay, he's being oh, very okay. V- vague, but okay. cool. Okay, all right, man. Listen, you looking at me, and she wants someone some. Shout out Humir, man. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, Dev, <Damn>, get him. <laughs> I'm lost. Oh, What's well, going on uh, right now? C- continue the show. Yeah, that's what we could have did from the real. I'm right. waiting for the elephant. Uh, okay, good. That was the elephant. Continue, sir. Shout out, Humir. Shout out, Humir. <laughs> that was the, the elephant is out the room. All right, back to you. So, okay, who's sitting in the angel seat? Who's sitting in the Humir seat? We good now? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what? I, I, if you got something to say, Dev, I don't, don't got nothing to say. Bro, some, I feel like Dev definitely. You got the tight ass face. Say. No, if you got the, you got something to say, say. Bro, I okay. feel like Dev has something to say. I actually don't. Let's go. Let's continue on. Okay. What's next for you, Kelly? Um, I actually talked to uh, Young G yesterday. We're going to work on uh, the come up part two. We're casting for it now, um, and we're going to film that probably late spring and, and, and drop it sometime this year. What do you think? Casting, I'm applying. I'm sorry. I want to apply. Oh, no doubt. I get with you. See? We'll talk what the fuck you make that face for, motherfucker? Anyway. Um, this is just what so is you, going What just happened? Listen, I just... We hate to be the dead horse. <laughs> we hate to be the dead horse. We're just letting you know right. that she is a dedicated actress and, you know, is willing to do an array of roles. I, 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 <laughs> listen, I scrolled the page. Please do not. <laughs> I scrolled on the page. What the hell you 
scroll my thing and pay. <laughs> Look, I, it's, it's, open, open. it's open. I need, I to, I I need to make that shit private. Did what, you follow no, me? Well, you follow me too. Oh, all right, cool. So uh, I must have followed I, you back. Right, right. I don't know. It doesn't matter how we got here. We here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh, but nah, like I, I, I'm not walking to a room with people I don't know. So I knew she was gonna be here. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm getting, getting real. I'm getting what did you see? What did you see on the page by any chance? I don't know. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, that's what he saw. Yes. I got, I, you know, we might have a spot for. You know, see, I'm I'm a wholesome woman, and okay. the spot that you have for her <laughs> <laughs> is. Is it like in a club scene? Is it a bedroom scene? I don't need, just need club and bedroom scene. Is it a nurse scene? Okay. What you want to you want to be a nurse? The last is, movie well, I did, I wasn't even a bartender. A step, okay. The last movie you did, you didn't do because you said you didn't. Know. No, I didn't. You talking about the porno? I didn't oh, do wow. no porno. I'm talking the last movie I actually was in. Okay, what you do that, Joe? I was the uh main, the main star best friend, and I mean. I think I've worked at a boutique. They didn't really show me at work. What they showed me? Huh? Me with her most of the time. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of the up. scenes. Oh, uh, here we go. A lot of scenes like, what? What role do you see her in? Hey, <laughs> like, man. So, so. I feel, I'm, you know what? I'm sorry. Not to cut no, you off. No, you're good. I really feel like you're a fucking hater today. All right. I'm sorry. And I don't know what's going on with you. I'm not hating on nobody. I just feel like you are. All right. But that, that is a good question. Like, what, what, like, what roles could you think you might have? You know, but for, you for, shit to him. No, 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 just makes you no, 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 no. That makes you agree I'm with being, him. No, I'm being. But you ain't saying shit to him. He's coming at you every time. The but, seat makes but, you agree. That seat makes you agree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm trying to see like, like, like you know. That's what happened to the last thing. From a, as a cast person that cast people, as a person that cast people, what roles could you think that you might see her? That's in the same way I asked it, Dad. No, Kali, fuck that. I asked that shit the same way, but not in a nice way like that. No. And I'm a fucking hater. Exactly. You know the term is not what you say; it's how you say it. Okay. So you, so you agree and with your that? Tone, so you agree with that? No, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. That your fucking tone was was on some hater shit. I'm never that sitting came there. And, and I agree. Thank you. <laughs> and that... <laughs> I'm never sitting there. I'm never sitting there. Because when I sit there, I'm going to be on some shit like, yeah, man, I agree with that. <laughs> and I agree with her. Dev said the same fucking thing I said. Like, so what roles do you possibly see her in? So so when I'm doing, when I'm doing the roles, a lot of times I like to just... I like to talk to the person, build with the person, kind of get a feel for them. Mm. And then I want to put you in something that's opposite of what I think you are, you know, because Thank that's going to show you, that's going to show you acting. Mm. You know what I mean? And so what type of role, what name know, of role do you think you might be able to put? Publicist. So you think the opposite of where she is. So what he's saying is there's no way for a publicist. I don't want to think about it. 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 I don't think about it. Because she strikes me as a person who would need a publicist rather than be a publicist. You know what I'm saying? That. So that's how I see. Like she's a talent and she's gonna need somebody that's gonna, you know, do things for her and pump. I see her in the same role of like a carry off of power. She could be the teacher, but she still got to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's the drone of smashing everybody? Yeah. <laughs> but you the, you the publicist that smash everybody. Same shit. Why? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. The publicist about coming soon. About how much of a hater right, he is. Say, say about listen, listen, the publicist is coming soon. The publicist is coming soon. The movie is called The Publicist. So you're, <laughs> the, 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 main, coming so coming you're the main star of this movie. You see? The publicist. Coming hey. soon. That's dope. Hey. You a quick writer too. Give me off the top what that, <laughs> what that movie would be about. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that movie about? Listen, Give us the synopsis. Nah, I do it later because yo, internet move fast. So we put this out. Somebody mm. be doing this movie and cast it for it in a week. Mm. They move mm -hmm. fast in the weekend. So yeah, so fuck that. Yeah, yeah we'll talk that, off. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. yeah. The publicist. They'll like talk that. to you off camera. I like yeah. that. Tech. <laughs> what are you doing next week? <laughs> 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 you you want to be in the publicist? <laughs> Cool. <laughs> you could be the nigga with the blue check. So in, hold on, wait. In the publicist. <laughs> oh, right. oh, he wanted to be in the publicist. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's, all right, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Oh, I can be. I can be inside the publicist. <laughs> we gotta get that on a t-shirt. Inside the publicist. <laughs> okay. Hey, so mean girl, do you have a mean girl moment of the week? 
Oh yeah, I do actually. Let's get it. Um, y'all men, can y'all stop sending me dick pics, please? Like that's my mean girl moment of the week. Stop, I'm tired. Stop sending. Stop sending I'm, some boing boing pics. Stop sending them, and then I I really want to understand because I'm in a room full of men. I want to understand what is the reason behind these dick pics. Like I gotta understand. I don't know. Like, what's the end goal when you send a dick pic? Like, Dev. <laughs> <laughs> what are you want to tell us? Listen, what's I, the, listen. I, I just, wait, 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 I know wait, wait. Oh, wait, no, no, no. My first question. My first question. Has anybody in this room has ever? Mind you, this is the real. Yeah, yeah, has anybody in this room ever sent a dick pic? Absolutely, yes. one thousand percent. Yes. So listen. So this. You talking about from 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 sixteen years old to now? <laughs> yes. Yes, I had it to my 16. You ain't even had a phone with the camera. Man, I, 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 I don't want to You was play. mailing them to me. No, no, listen to me. What listen you was doing? Me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I was doing it. I was doing it in 17. I was. Oh, shit. The Polaroid joint? Yes. Ah! <laughs> nigga, nigga put that shit in a in girl locker. Like, <laughs> right. No, I had girls send me Polaroids. I, I, mean, I had girls send me naked like Polaroids, it. too. That's I was sending naked Polaroids. But that's, that's when it's out of pocket. Niggas still got them like, yeah, you running for mayor, huh? So, so, so what is, what is so, the so, reason? So, hold on. So, this is the, the, the confusion I have. <laughs> Why is a person doing this in this uh, climate? You know what I mean? Like, t- times have changed. This new 2020, even the 2010s, it start getting kind of shaky. I don't understand why a person is doing this in this kind of climate. Like there was a a, a a era for that. You know what I'm saying? There was a time. Can I ask a question for you? Cause I want. I think I want you to elaborate. You can go right back. Is it random dicks or is it like niggas <laughs> that you talk to? It ain't nobody I talk to. It's all random. Okay. See now, and that's so they playing. Well, no, 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 no. Now that. It's totally like a no. This is what? what I'm saying. If I'm talking to you, you send me a thing. Nah, right? I see. I mean, so, that's so, a nah, I was on some wild and shit. My shit was so more tech like is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go back to you. look. At my- Tech, my, <laughs> tech, my number is 267. Oh, my Tech ready to send a picture. He <laughs> went, but he didn't. So, so uh, by the way, Tech, he must send pictures. So, we were sending pictures. We were sending pictures and shit. Yeah, that's what oh they are, pictures. Pictures. So, it was a lot of pictures getting sent back in the day. That tooth, when that, when that, especially when that iPhone first Drop. dropped. Oh, man. you What it did was it cut to the chase. That's what men are trying to do. It cuts to the chase. You send the joint out, boom, it's an instant uh, situation. You already know what you're getting into. You feel what I'm saying? And you know if the dude that cracked his jeans, if he cracked his jeans and you didn't like what you saw, what was you going to do? Yeah, you, I mean, you're not going to talk to him. You wasn't going to fuck with him? Yeah, but, this is, but, that, but see, that's different because this is somebody I actually... Talk to I, I get knew. It. But imagine this. Imagine this nigga went all this distance. He was kicking it with you. He did all of that. He pop off the big reveal. You walk out. <laughs> you walked out. He done went that far. He could have got that out the way as soon as he got your number. Won't. But see, this is the th- but see, this is the thing. Niggas that send dick pics usually got nice size dicks. But, but that's not but, always true. So the dick pics I've always gotten has been, you know. Interesting, but so it still you, creeps me out. So, so it still creep you out. So you never fucked with no nigga that the ever sent a dick, pic, a random dick pic. No, 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 not no. a random, not a random. So I think it's still out of pocket. How long a nigga gotta do you to send you the meat shot? I feel like we gotta be fucking. Damn. Oh, well, then I, that's before a, I get. Oh, oh that's that point. That don't even make Who sense. Who the fuck send the dick pic after like, he fucking? <laughs> You already know that's, what it looks like. That's your right. resume. Cause, no, because I'm saying, like, if you go, if, if, say if there's a situation where we don't see each other all the time, mm-hmm. where it might be some distance or something like that, then yeah, you that you send over a couple, you know, like, look what you missing type joints. Like, I don't see, like, we're not, we not even fucking and you sending me dick pics. Like, once what? you fucking. You don't get the dick pics. You that's get, not you get true. The, you get that's the not true. That's like once you, that's like, that's like once you, you fucking get, a girl or whatever. You expect those random you get a photos plant. of you no, know her. No, no, I'm gonna keep it real. You no? expect no. You expect it beforehand. Because this is what I, I found want, yeah, out I back then. The this that's is what so I found crazy. out. It's 2022. I, I found I don't see out that. how nasty women was when I was filthy, right? Because this is what you would do. You meet somebody <laughs> in the club, right? And I, this nigga did it too. This nigga did it too. I know this nigga.
nigga did it because he's one of them quiet, uh, 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 they, you know, they both educated brother from the bank ass so nigga. Know. Yeah, he's an educated brother from the bank nigga, right? So he from, pulled a joint. Yeah, he pulled a joint. He, he, he brushing his hair in the club and shit. Look at the waves. <laughs> you know what I mean? He get the number. Boom. Soon, so soon as you turn your back, you walking away. You send a joint. Boom. Boom, it's like an explosion behind you. Like, you know how you watch a movie, Denzel set, set something on fire and he walk away and it blow up behind you? That's how you used to send the John. Now you right out the way. The John gonna always hit you back with something just to let you know they interested. Like, yo, you crazy as hell. What's your line It's back? never, you it's never. It? Block. <laughs> see? You don't block everybody. You're a, you're a fucking liar. You see? You send the fucking pussy with the right I side. don't listen. That, let me tell y'all something. She fucking no, lying. No, no, so, no, no, no. The internet is crazy. Oh, I okay. watch my timeline throughout the course of Instagram where niggas are exposing bitches. Like I see that they get these pictures, and I've never been. No, not listen, no, 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 no. Listen, I've pussy never cat been cat on an exposing page. You want to know why? Because I do not put myself out there. No, no, I, I do. No, no, I'm no. Not women, just, what yeah, I will, say, random, what I will say is, me. what I will say is, women are more. Um, I ain't say you send your ex. They're more pussy bold. Cat. They're more bold. No, no, but these who send pussies, and that's why I said they was. They was not they was to filthy. a random. Like no, no, if no. I'm actually fucking with you, and I know that you got that level of respect where no. my pictures is not going to go anywhere. Then, I, but a random nigga, you don't know. So, he so, could be a whole nut, so, and then tomorrow he's sending your shit out. So imagine this: what happened was you got a request from a John. For dick pics, right? Because chicks do request them, right? Or they did. I don't know. I ain't been in the game a long time. But in that climate, they would ask you, like, yo, can you send me something? Whoop, you send it over. But now it's in your catalog. Mm. So for time you develop a catalog, you right. develop a catalog of sorts of your of your joint. It's like your your resume or whatever like that. But what you found out is the women had them too. I know they took that picture for another nigga because how the fuck you sent it? I mean, you sent it that fast. We still out and about. We still at the club. So when you send somebody something and you see that they sent you something right back, which happened a large amount of the times that I was doing that type of shit, I, I, we already knew what it was now. Now we, I know when we encounter each other where it's going. You know, you know what's I mean? so crazy though? Because I've, I've had people like, yo, Angel, can you send me something? I'm like, I ain't got shit in my phone. They be like, you're lying. I'm like... No, I really don't. Cause like if I if if I have taken a picture for someone, I've deleted it. So I'm like, be I'm really not a you, person Angel. who has a catalog of all if a nigga my pussy and my titties and. So if a nigga asks you to send them something, right? Looking at your Instagram page, they wanted they they basically asking to see the pussy, right? Because they can go to oh, Instagram. Yeah, they can go to Instagram and, and see what the fuck they want to see. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't like ain't like a nigga like yo, send me a picture. You send them a shot, a shot of your ass with some thongs on, right? You like. Nigga, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, Tell I mean, it's, <laughs> no, no, because it's levels, right, bro? Because listen, mm -hmm. this is how niggas look at it. If you're already a certain way on your gram, if you're talking to the man in any intimate way, or it look like it's something, mm -hmm. he want to see more than you show everybody else. Now, let's say on your joint, you always regular mommed up, yeah, suited the thong, up. The thong's if gonna you work. Send just that sexy joint that you wear in the club for him. That's like. Oh, oh shit. shit. Because nobody else has access to it. Mm -hmm. So really all the nigga wants is access to something that's not for everybody and, else. And, and that's the thing. Because if you random and like we not really. Random I don't know you like pocket. that. I don't yeah, know, no, not even just like. I'm just saying like we just start like fresh off talking and stuff. And you like yeah let me see what. With, with Instagram will say, who the fuck is you? You just got here. Like, nigga, stay, stay a while. Let me know, you know, give me that comfortability. Like, I'm not comfortable with just sending a fucking picture out there to you that's not on Instagram because guess what I'm going to do? Send you everything that's going to fuck on Instagram because I don't know what oh, you're you going to do a, with If that. you get an Instagram picture, you, you're disgusted. I'm sending everything that's on Instagram. Yo, I'm look, <laughs> I'm like, I saw this on Instagram. So I'm bro. looking at Khalif's book, right? And I know... That he ain't that boy. Can I leave the boy to get your number and send you a love letter? <laughs> like this? Love yourself. But he said, he said, he said, he said, no. I don't think he's making a face like you got me fucked up. I ain't talking about 99. Hey, leave. listen, I ain't saying I ain't talking about Leaf. I'm talking about Khalif. He said he ain't Katie saying Jones. it. Oh, Skyleaf Jones? Um, he just said that. Skyleaf Jones? So you, sent ah! the, so you sent dick pics out before. I'm the man behind the camera. So, but none of y'all, <laughs> none of y'all said. Oh, no. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm so, so, you gotta so, that. No, 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 no. See, y'all think, see, I don't gotta rephrase something if I'm talking about a woman. Okay, I don't gotta rephrase anything if I'm talking about a woman. It's like, okay. we, ain't, we ain't gonna play them games. She said something about a dick pic. Yeah, but I'm the guy behind the camera and it's a woman in front of the camera. Okay, I bet. You, know, okay. you understand what I'm saying? So, so you said all your dick pics is a, is a chick sucking your joint. Have, have, have I ever sent one? That's, That's what, what I'm asking. Yeah. 
Have, have no, it, you yeah, said, oh, anybody in this room said I mean, a random but, dick but pic? But random, 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 but what I'm saying is it might as well have been in a sense because we had a, do- a dialogue, you know what I mean? You might have bagged the number. Did you have you a number when it, you, you know said what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she's saying like motherfuckers just I, shoot it. I don't know how a nigga can my DM. shit to a DM. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's insane to me. It's been Never like, it'd be like that's maybe insane. like a little, it'll, it'd be like maybe like how was your day? And I, you know, I like to respond to people. People, Somebody asked me yesterday, why do you, like, why do you respond to your DMs? I'm a bartender. If I'm mean to everybody, nobody's going to come out and see me. So when people respond to my DM, if I get the feeling that maybe one day they might come out and support, mm-hmm. I, you know, my day's okay. How's yours? Like, I'm that nice person. But then when you take it from that and just randomly send me a dick. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, there's, yeah, yeah, there's that's... There's a guy right now. There's a guy outside right now. Not outside this building, but, like, I see him. <laughs> I was about to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I see him at the bar often. Mm-hmm. And when I see him, only thing I see is like his body and the dick pic. Like that's all I see. Like the dick pics. That's, oh, because that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. So that means that means like, he every don't time know I see what him, to I just say to you. Flashback of his dick. So when he pic, look like, at you when you come to the bar, do you go like this? No, <laughs> no. I think that he's. Really, <laughs> and you go like this? No, I think that he's kind of embarrassed because he sent yeah. the dick pic and he never got a response. Yeah, if you don't get a response, that gotta hit your soul. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like a no response after that. I was just like, oh. Yeah, so he yeah, probably didn't know what to say from the beginning. That's why he did what he did, because he had no rap. He was intimidated, probably. No, but it happens a lot, though. And I just, I don't, I mean, I've been dying to ask y'all, because I don't be understanding what, Maybe, like, hmm, I wonder if, the, is it is it a, a thing where he sees you in a certain, I'm not trying to disrespect, I'm saying, does he see you? No, I'm not. I'm, we're having a real discussion Dad, now. Y'all adult, do this all the time. Just adult, go ahead. No, we're having an adult discussion. Is he... Is he perceiving you in a certain way based on seeing you at your job? So in his mind, he thinks. No, the dick pics came before I started seeing him at my job. That's the crazy thing. I've never seen him out before. And then suddenly I start seeing him in the bars. Never seen him out before. Before the dick pic. Yeah. So. Mean, so girl, it was based mean off girls, Instagram. moment of the, mean girl, moment of the week. It stop stop sending, sending me dick pics. random. And stop get, sending and me dick pics. Get thirty stacks, brother. Stop, <laughs> stop sending random. Dick Send your girl coochie or something. That's more interesting. Stop okay, sending me dick pics. Yo, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's <laughs> no, we're not, not going to that. Let's no, no, no. Let's <laughs> not pass that. Is that the new? Hold on. Is that a possible way that niggas could go down? If you got your joint and she down for that, and you send, you go slide in something DM. Send a that's coochie? a little. That's a little bit more interesting. That's, I think, that's, I don't think I've never is. heard that before. You could send a butt naked of your girl to the chick, like, "Yo, we trying to do something, but I come with this." That that's that's kind of dope. <laughs> give mommy, give mommy doing miles of me. Like you say, she looking alive. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna live through it. <laughs> like, like I want to try that, but am I gonna die? <laughs> am I gonna die? <laughs> you see my thoughts? That shit like this, bro. <laughs> you see it all on your face. Damn, that's a, like, when you hear that, Dave, you like that's something I want to do. But am I gonna live? Am I gonna live the fight live, another bro. day? Yeah, and listen. So, Khalif, people ask me all the time, man, like uh, about the movie. You know what inspired us to do the movie? What 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 made us? Uh, you know, want to want to do the Last Strike movie um, with our own Geek Funny Productions, with our own team, Me U Tech. Uh, we had a couple of people that helped us out, of course, the Bobby Blanco. Uh, what's your man name? I'm sorry, I don't, Austin. Austin. No disrespect, Austin, but Austin. Um, helped us out there. What inspired you to start writing, period? Well, um, I, I've always been a writer since I was young, you know, um, writing poetry when I was a kid just because I was, you know, going through things. I didn't have any outlets. I didn't really want to trust my feelings and things I was going through with other people. Mm-hmm. So, I, be, you know, I started writing back then. Then I was probably like 22, somewhere around there. Um, my guy Sterl was like, yo, man, we live in a visual world. I know you want to put out books and stuff, but we live in a visual world. You got to you know, make movies. Yeah. And he kind of put it in my head to start trying to chase that make a movie thing. And it's crazy because I wrote The Come Up um, about 13, 14 years ago. And I wrote it in two days, but it took me over 10 years to get it to the point of actually going into production. And that's like a testament to like never giving up because so many times I wanted to give up, wanted to give up. I had my guy D, um, Derek, 
he believed in me more than anybody that I've ever met, you know, outside of my own blood. And he was like, bro, we're going to make this happen. And he introduced me to uh, Buck Wild and then got me actually uh, in front of Greg Parker, who was like, yo, the same day that I met him, shook his hand. He said, bro, we funding it. We're going to do it. Like, we funding it. We're going to do it. Let's make it happen. And and then, you know, um, and, and that's how we got here. So for me, you know, you will never see me like expressing anything other than gratitude because I don't get here without the people, Derek, you know, my brother Leonard, Rock, and, you know, all my family and friends who kind of been there when I was going through these tough times, yes. you know, and and so, yeah, so that's what kind of got me from going from writing to trying to make movies and actually making movies, you know, so, yeah. No, one thing, like, and, and it's crazy because I hear I, I hear a lot of people that be like on some real Hollywood stuff once they get to a certain point. And and I've never been that. I never will be that. Um people always DM me, hey, I want to work with you. Hey, I want to make some things happen. And and the first thing I say is I shoot my number to them. Call me. Let's talk. You know, sometimes things come from it, sometimes things don't. But I'm I'm always gonna be that guy that's just like, yo, I wanna work with whoever wanna works with me. You know, people ask me who do I want to work with. You know, people going to always say a celebrity or things like that. I have celebrities I do want to work with, but ultimately I want to work with those who want to work with me. Did you say yeah. something about you, you? You hate when people become Hollywood when they, you know, that's what you said. You know, did you know that, that he gets Hollywood all the time? Never. What? You know what? That's your name in my I was, phone. I was Hollywood. talking to a tech about something that happened. You know, um, I was talking to tech yesterday. I, I wouldn't call it Hollywood, oh, I would. but I understand that people could take advantage of people. You know, um, in the world, you know, in the life that we live, you're going to be used. Oh, that conversation you know, with going, tech wasn't about gay. It, it was, what you know, um, <laughs> but no, it wasn't. It wasn't nothing that it, it was. No, nah, I was telling him how everything transpired to how I got him in a come up to how we got to this point now. Well, that's and I didn't Hollywood, realize so that problem. it's not that he's Hollywood. Is that people can easily take advantage of somebody who has two million followers, who has millions of followers, and he only people has one point seven. Well, one point, but that's just a one. That's just well, only. But see, I see. I say it's nothing. Only it's, only, it's nothing. Only about only? that. Then you don't. No, let me correct that. Only, only. one point seven on Instagram, say, two point one on well, Facebook, say, yeah. hundred thousand on uh, but, YouTube. Like, but that's, just, but that's if it's the easy thing. Do, everybody do. But 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 I'm sure that everybody I'm sure that Hollywood. He gets, you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. She's trying, she trying to bring I'm the Hollywood out. Right, right. But, but, but I'm not. Only nigga, but I'm not. I know niggas have been doing it ten years longer than me. See the Hollywood. But I'm not only. calling him. I'm not calling him Hollywood because I, I no, it's not that. I understand that people can take advantage of that, you know, and and say, yo, bro, I need you to do something for me, and it's, and but it's only one sided. You don't do you shit know. for me. <laughs> so I, mean, I hope you're not making we, this. We out. we here. You don't do shit for you me, know, sir. And, and, but yeah, so that's that's how I look. I don't look at it like we being just Hollywood. You didn't we put me. In, you didn't put me in your movie. You put who married in your movie. You didn't put me in it. You mm. put who married in my movie. But now you in who married seat. But I don't want to be but here. But you see, but see, you you you're dwelling on. But you're dwelling <laughs> on that, right? <laughs> and we just said, we just said, I talked to you about a spot for you. Yes, but that was. Did, did you did you miss the part where he said no? <laughs> But no. but yes, are you did. focusing on yes, the no? Listen, but are you focusing on the no's or the yes? Oh, I'm fo- I'm not focusing on. I'm. This is about him, Hollywood. I got you. I you know me and you we good. I got this you. is about That's him. Like asking this niggas focusing on the titties or the ass. Like. <laughs> what you focused on? <laughs> I'm focused on our next moment. Oh, I was talking. Oh, oh, uh, oh, next moment. That's more. <laughs> it, he need to write a book called Billy D Responses. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Like if I was at Chipotle the other day. Like, he got I don't know, yo, um, <laughs> can I get the uh, put a little chicken on there? She said, "We don't got no more chicken." I could have had a snappy response. Yeah. Ain't the chicken I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> How about yeah, turkey? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. How about the turkey? <laughs> yeah. I read the turkey anyway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This nigga said, "I'm working on her next." What do you say? I don't even know what he said. Just, I can't just the see next it. Thing. I don't got like, You know, enjoy. Her next say, moment. enjoy the present, and then you know, plan for the future. You need to be more like him. I do. He's humble. <laughs> I do. I am. I'm chilling. You're you came to me. Fucking Hollywood. You came to fucking me. Anyway, man, I gotta. So my do it look like I give a fuck moment of the week is not is really just a question that somebody asked me that I wanted to ask you guys. Right? Is it any justifiable way to say you murdered somebody? Like, is any justifying murder? Like, if you murder somebody, I hate when you come on here with this Dateline shit. No, it's just, no, for real. I really want to know, like, because it's 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 four hundred and 
It was 400 and something murders last year, right? And my motherfucker say, well, I murdered the boy because he murdered my my folks. Is that is none of feel, that's justifiable there, unless it's self defense? Well, okay, there, there's buddy. some people who truly believe in an eye for an eye, mm. and then you gotta, you know, well, they need to grow the fuck up. That's just some people, and that's some countries. You know, it's like that. I'm not saying that I'm that person. You know, um, I don't try to carry revenge in my heart. But when I well, I've been there before, and I felt like that though. You know, um, and it didn't have to be somebody getting murdered. Um, but I had that feeling in my heart when somebody caused pain to someone that I love. It, you, you, that's your first in- instinct is to protect and you're going to do whatever you got to do. You know, um, but I heard Steve Jackson talking about that the other day about getting in stuff and, and um, you know, seeing somebody who murdered someone, I guess, that he knew or his family member or something like that. And he wanted to, but he'd look at all that he had to lose and that his family member who he lost wouldn't want him to go down that route. Mm-hmm. So it, it's tough, you know, but. I heard people say before Dev, that really bothers me, like uh, when somebody get murdered. Say the person is not a murderer, right? Mm-hmm. But they in the streets. They sell drugs. They, uh, you know, they 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 do they they do street stuff, but they don't murder people, and they get murdered by somebody by by getting robbed on a drug deal or something like that. And say say, oh, that's the life he was living. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think that's cool. It's 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 not. It's it, it might be things that's relative because in that business, um, there's. There's murderers. Exactly. There's 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 lawless people. Yeah. But I don't believe that you. Know, we already talked about that before. I don't believe that a person that does one thing, auto, you know, automatically gets thrown in the other category. Even when people say, "Yo, if you enter this game, you better be willing to do this." I don't think. I mean, now if 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 everybody that sold drugs was killers, it would be a whole different type body count out exactly. there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just it's that's not like that. Everybody doesn't want to take human life well people yeah. got to understand there's a killer about in every profession like mm-hmm. they be oh i didn't think that the teach the teacher was a murderer oh yeah the teacher is a murderer mm-hmm. it does i don't think it has anything to do with the profession that makes a person a murderer so for people to say oh because they sell drugs or whatever they deserve to be killed and because nah, 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 that's the life they live but y'all got to understand that that's it's just a thing that they do a, they might consider a profession right like you have all kinds of people, politicians turn out to be murderers. Like there's a murderer yeah. in every profession. Doesn't mean that you they think Fortune be 500 killing. companies don't get people whacked. No, I definitely. And, do. I mean, I they, definitely. They, do. they, they money is up there. Their money's long. Yeah. You could you could say, oh, because you're in Fortune 500, you should. But, that's the life you live. Also, you should get murdered. Uh, also, it's a just, person with fair. a sickness who is just a killer, and our community can masquerade as a. Street nigga, a thug. Mm-hmm. But really, he just likes killing people. Mm-hmm. So if he was somewhere else, he would just be a serial killer. Mm-hmm. But we look at it like as long as he got the uniform on of us, his killings is different. He just a street boy with wild bodies. I nah. just don't think taking lives is just justifiable in any, um, any way it's, unless I, it's self defense. I'm going to answer your question. So, mm-hmm. so I want to be careful with this because you know my stance on shit like this. Yeah, I don't yeah, fuck yeah. with it. Do I believe some people deserve to die as a personal belief in my head? Yes. Okay. What do I believe that is our uh, our right um, to be the ones to do that? No. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't. Now, the problems that I do see is um, when you know people's reputations in your neighborhood, right? Yeah. So imagine you the regular guy, you go to work, you do whichever you, you do, but you know who the players is. You know that's the boy that get money. This nigga stick up shit. This these niggas the killer niggas. And you get into a altercation for whatever reason with one of these people, and you know that they trying to kill you now. You can't go. Even if you was a you a, a, a law abiding citizen and you was just to go report, there's no crime yet. There's no crime yet. There's nothing you could do about it when a person goes and says, Officer, he, uh, John John said he going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? You know John John got by. John John said he going to kill me. There's nothing you could do. Sometimes a person will take something into their own hands as a preventative way. Uh, so it's not revenge. It's because I know his body. I know what he going to do. I really just want to go play my bat, play basketball or go come home from the job, but you already know what type of time this nigga is on. And I think there's a fraction of crimes in the community that's just that. It's not by people that are murderers. It's by people that are in fear. In a well, sense. they say yeah. if you corner a mouse, what that mouse going to do? 
You know, so yeah. maybe those people feeling cornered. Like they, everywhere they go, they got to look over their shoulder. That's a bad feeling. Mm. But in a sense, it's like, what if you taking a chance? Because what if that person is just all talk? No, maybe but, that person, maybe that person, those other bodies that you that you know of, maybe he had valid reasons, you know, whereas to maybe it was something attack on him and you haven't attacked, you know, people always think they know the underlying stories yeah. and stuff and you don't know, maybe in the sense he was never going to hurt you. But you know, common denominators is math, right? Yeah. So sometimes you got to be like, you have five different problems where you absolutely had to take that person's life, all five of those, all eight of those, I don't know. I think you just prone to doing that. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Or, I mean, I don't know a person that's out here that got eight, nine bodies that everybody knows of that you just you know, know. and he's just running around. I think maybe you he don't run, know him. I'm you just saying know, maybe he get locked. Run, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. He would get not. He would be locked up, or maybe again, I've seen it where people associate. Bodies on put p bodies on people that just because they had one or two before, yeah, and then mm -hmm. they oh he wasn't he that had something that was yeah, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the next thing you what know you he think, got Liz? eight bodies after he only uh, had really he only had one or two. Think? I mean I I don't really like to get too much into that stuff, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. um, but I know as a writer mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's funny um, because automatically you know I've been in meetings when I'm talking about uh, pitches and I'm pitching some movies to people. Mm -hmm. And one of the questions that I'm asked by some people is the violence level. Mm. And I thought that some companies wanted me to turn it down. They wanted me to turn it up. Wow. And I was just like, ah, no. Nah. You know, so for me, I'm in a place in creativity where I want to show a different side of us. Like, I don't only want to kind of dwell on that. We've seen it. We've lived it. Unfortunately, we saw uh, those things happen throughout our lives and, you know, a lot of where we, where we come from. But I wanted to show them the other side. I wanted to show them how we laugh, how we love, how we bid on each other. Like you go to you go to the hood, nobody bids better than us. You know, when it comes to just, you know, um talking shit about each other and, and, and those things. So I kinda like made a little promise to myself that in my movies moving forward, that if somebody dies, it's gonna be meaningful death. It's not gonna be a senseless murder. Well see, the, you know? well then that doesn't that make that like not our reality though? Because like we no, have he, Yes, we do have good moments. Yes, but, we but, do. But, but it's not that it's not our reality. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. You are. It's not that it's. Um, what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, I know I what we can do. Like, I, you know, I, I, I no, know. You got me. I got this you. Is so, how, no, this, this is, is how. This is how. This is the back. This is the back and forth, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Serious? Like, what are we gonna do? Like, I don't want to. That's what I'm saying. All I'm doing is saying this. No, I didn't say. I'm saying like she got a gun in her chest, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm on. Like, like what are we gonna do? Like, I don't want to go back and forth about it. If you want to talk, you can talk. What are we gonna do? You know what we can do. But, but, but see, that's just, just. I'm not. That's just her natural. Her natural competitor like mm -hmm. the competitiveness in her mm -hmm. too if i say something like that she's like all right well i'm ready but nah my energy is not on that with you you understand, you understand what i'm saying so it's like shut the fuck billy D. go ahead billy my, D. get him billy my D. energy Joe. is like that with you but guess what billy no, D. Joe, my energy is not there with you, you know why? because you're beautiful and i don't want to be on that level oh there but, you <laughs> but the thing is right but but let me say this, the thing is got it <laughs> that's not our only reality Right. That's you know what right. I mean? And, and there might be a reality. It's not our only reality. But see, before you cut me off, sir, mm. I wasn't saying my, 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 that I'm was sorry. our only reality. I'm sorry. What I'm saying is if you have a film where it's just all good and people only dying from, what you what you, what you call it? Senseless. A meaningful Sen death. A meaningful death. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really like not- Like John Q. Our reality. But, no, 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 no. That's no, what no, I'm saying. No, like, that's can I jump in? Can I jump in real quick for you, bro? So- it is a part of the reality. Everybody does. That's no, 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 no. Saying. Listen to what I'm saying. When you show a movie, there's already a movie for the part where where the Chicago kid got 17 bodies. There's already a movie for that. Right. We already got a menace to society where old dog just shoots everybody in the head, right? But you just told, do you know a old dog? Like a nigga that just shoots random Asian ladies in the head on a whim, like, and then runs around and killing people. So there's extremes on either side. He's right. trying to keep something that shows us in a different light because there are towns that are are black that are not Philadelphia. You could be in Woodbury, Willingboro, all the right, time, right. and there is murder that takes place, but it's rare. You could be in Pensacola. Right. You could be in. There's plenty of places that there 
is the street element there's crime but it's not on a what philly has turned into over the last two years what chicago has been in the last you know 10 years so i do understand and first off camden is on the rise and has been doing better camden got like camden got like 22 murders and that's it thank you thank you thank you today no no it's not no it's not camden Cam, camden's murders have been shot more than in half thank you that's because the people have been chopping that. But go ahead. Yeah, it's it's stop. No, it's but yeah, it's and it came to Philly. That's I mean, why. It's, 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 it's hard to say. See, the fucking thing. He trying to, to bring up the Camden shit, right? All the Camden killers came to Philly. And then, the only reason there's 22 murders in Camden because there's only 29 motherfuckers. So the eight niggas that's left out there like this, what we going to do now? Let's go to Philly. Let's go to Philly. Let's go to Philly. No, but, 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 what happens 400 is, but what happens is, in the extremes, if you grow up and, you know, one of the things they did, that happened in like the 80s seeing bill cosby on tv whether whatever right. you feel about him the cosby family was like yo you watching a black family that's not struggling it's not like you watching in his good times and the motherfuckers isn't there like a birthday card how can we fucking afford <laughs> that james it's not like that you know what i'm saying like she about to snap because you spent all that money on birthday yeah. cards she spent we don't 43 cents on the money you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah see what i'm saying is like we, like, like, think about the summer. Think about the yeah. summer, right? Think about the summer and where, wherever you from. Where you from? Here. They don't need to know that Philly. Oh, Shit, uh, everybody in this room I'm, from Philly except them. Right. So listen, right? So he you thought from, he was from so, New York. So you from Philly? No, he didn't. Boy, oh, liar! Yeah. <laughs> I, I told you, don't say liar. that. So listen, if right? David Wine is back to the New York, what did I say? Hey, listen, the right? man is a liar. I listen, said right? that. He I said that. Listen, right? I said that. Wow, you did that to me. Wow, okay. No, so listen, That's right? That's crazy. But no, but seriously, if you think about any neighborhood that you're from, right, in, in the city, you got a whole summer, right? We know that every summer, unfortunately, we probably lose somebody, whether it is through murder, through jail, something. But that's not the only part I want to show. You know, I don't want to focus on that. What about all the fun nights, all the house parties, the dollar parties and things like that that's happening in the hood that we grew up on that we have our greatest memories from? I want to show those things. You know, what about the, the first boy in the hood that, you know, got you? You understand what I'm saying? Like, what about that story? You know, what nobody's. The fuck, you keep looking over at me. I thought you about to elaborate. <laughs> oh, but no, no, I'm just saying, like, no, I just want to show. I just want to show. There's other stories that we can tell. Like right. we, we, we have, we have power. We, we love power. But I don't want to do another one. We have that. We have my, my, my bro Chop Mosey. He got trapped. He has trap. That's covering city, and that's covering right. different levels of those things. And everybody in the city does not sell. Cocaine. Yeah. I've, so you could make a. I'm not saying. No, 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 no. That. What I'm saying is, if you could make a show that only shows the people that's trapping, you could make a show that shows everybody that go to work. If you, if everybody go home and fuck, but the show don't got to show everybody. Yeah, go but home it's and still fuck. the same thing with all those things. That the same goes back to what like, I said. Like, it's not. What's the your complete favorite? Reality. What's your favorite movie, girl? What's your favorite movie? Step Brothers. Nobody would ever thought right. that. What's your favorite? Really right. my, no, 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 that's that's really favorite. my favorite. What's your, what's your, what's your, listen, 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 right? It's, it's really my what's favorite, favorite movie. Though. What's your favorite black film? Uh, black film. Mm. <laughs> that shit. Uh, <laughs> no, she don't want to say because that shit is starring like <laughs> Johnny Long or some shit. Like some nigga with a. <laughs> What's your favorite black film? Love, love, love and Basketball. Yo, Big no, Booty's love, 47. Love, 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 love and Basketball and, love, and what's that? Love Jones. Those are like my but, Jones. But, and that's like, what I, and, those, and those are, those are stories that and, and those are stories that I'm telling now because there's like a void in that place right now. We don't have a lot of those movies coming out today. Like if you could give me a movie back like back in the day, like but, I'll, I'll take that. Like, But it, I just feel but, like now but, people aren't making you know, love movies Jones that was like, like 80s, 90s Love movies. Jones was like 97, maybe 96 and Love and Basketball was like 2000. So you went back 20 years. You understand what I'm saying? 20, yeah, it came out like 2000, 2001. So where's that being done now? Who's doing those films now? I can always do a shoot 'em up bang bang movie. That shit is easy, right? But what about, you know, provoking other feelings from people? What if I could give you the chills because you, because you see how a man properly loves a woman? You understand what I'm saying? Like, and I tell that story. 
That's fine. I just and, when you and, said our reality, I'm just but, no, 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 our I reality. Say, no, I didn't say love and basketball. Listen, ain't my no, reality. no, I didn't <laughs> say. But that's but but I'm, you what I'm saying to you is, she, I'm about to say, she, I, I hooped. You understand what I'm saying? So I know a little better. I didn't go to. I didn't go that far, but I, you know, I know that story. You understand what I'm saying? And but that's what I'm saying. You limiting <laughs> you know your reality. Story. But yeah, you're, I'm and, you're, and you're limiting your diet. Because yeah. what we take in, like, like if all our kids, like, it bothers me when I walk past my kid room, and every time I walk past that screen, it's like a bunch of niggas with laser beams like this and shit with a stendo clip hanging out the side of their shit. Right. You know what I'm talking about? I'm it's not like, saying that the movie has to be completely violent. No, no, but what I'm saying is no, but what I'm saying is the same way there's rap that just shows that, right? And then we grew up where there was different people, diggable planets. It was roots. Right, right. It was like different shit for different people. If you look at all of our genres, it starts going into anything black is just this. It's just that. Mm. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's so not that's not that our, our thing is when you say like meaningful death and that's our reality, I'm just thinking like I didn't say I don't that's think. see, you keep you, saying you that, say that our reality. But you're speaking definitively. I'm not saying that that's our only reality. Rewind shit. You, you keep <laughs> like she's focusing on like <laughs> She's she's doing this thing where she's picking one thing and kind of making that the definitive thing. That's it's not, not a definitive oh, thing, you sir. Said, you I said, no see, see what I, what I said to you is what I said to you is it's not our only reality. You were limited to one thing being our only reality. Yeah, you said that after I said what I said. This but, is what I'm but saying, but I'm still going. I'm going back to why I said what I said. Is this your fashion with start, drug dealers? If you, you have know, excuse with drug me, if he would have said this is not Damn. our only reality, then I probably would have said she don't something like good else. niggas, man. But in the sense when you did say it, you said our reality. So then that's when I went to what I said. Now you're saying not our only right, reality, right, well, me, and now me, I understand. All what right, you're let me saying. tell you this: I've never killed anybody. I've never, you know. Sold any drugs, so that's not my reality. Okay, again, you something know, um, else that you did not so, say. So, so I'm, but um, this is part of this is the getting to know me process, you know. Um, and it's not random. This is not a random dick pic coming to you. This is me looking you in your face, talking <laughs> to you. How the fuck you. is you, you know, know, dick pic? Because y'all was talking Billy, about. Billy, so, 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 you didn't so, even comment but, on the dick pic, and then you just bring it up. Because you didn't bring up the dick pic. This is me because I was letting y'all do your thing. He didn't even comment. Because I was letting y'all do y'all thing. Because I was letting y'all do y'all thing. But but my thing is, I'm I'm, I'm telling you that. Thirty four. Put the chicken check. But I'm I'm just telling you that we have we have we're not limited to we're not limited to just one thing. Like don't get me wrong, there there could be deaths in the movies. Why the f I'm so sorry, ahead, but I, it's hard to focus on you without my per out of my peripheral. I see this man. <laughs> <laughs> look, he checking the shit out of you right he's now. He's not checking me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. He's not no, checking. No, he's not checking me. What he's, he's doing is he's, he's, he's treating he's her clarifying. and speaking to her as an educated I'm, that's black I'm he's talking to her directly. He's I'm not clarifying what was said because again, off of what he said is why I said what I said. Now, if you say this is not my reality, this is not our only reality, then I understand what you're saying. But the initial statement was reality. So. But, there, but but you won't allow yourself to graduate from that. Oh no! I graduated from when you changed. Your hold statement. on, hold on. Let me but ask you something. How many murders is it, it in Philadelphia? Five hundred and something. I mean, what? a year. Five hundred murders in Philadelphia. I think last year was the highest. And and obviously they're mostly us, right? Right. How many black and Hispanic people are there in Philadelphia? Damn. Everybody. <laughs> no, no. Like how many? How many? Everybody. That's not true. Is it million? Millions. So if you're talking about the vast, how do you have the the vast this book? Because listen, hanging on, y'all need to cop this. <laughs> this I appreciate right. that, y'all. Like, no, I appreciate. At first I listen, thought he was holding listen, it up, this but then I, I realized his hands started moving. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, I'm trying to be like him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, the majority of people is not involved in that lifestyle. If we're talking about 600. And we're talking about millions of people, millions of people. And in a most people's story, man, it is going to work. It's love. It's, it's dating. Right. It's just regular things. And I think it's dope that you would want to show our people in a different light. So when people watch stuff, it's not the kids just looking at the screen and all they seeing is that shit. If they could go three hours and watch a movie, two and a half hours, and they don't see that type of shit, it's dope. Shout out to Kyrie Terrell, too, because he did that uh um, you know what I'm saying with the with the uh last movie that he dropped, it was a romantic comedy, all black people, good shit. Work bay. Work bay. Work, work bay, yeah, yeah, yep. I like this type shit, man. 
And and I, and I think that was good. You know, and again, I don't have a problem. <laughs> listen, I don't have a problem with any of them type of movies. I, I love, listen, I, I love, you know, Menace, Boys, Boys in the Hood. I love Power. You know, I love all them junks. You know, um, I don't have a problem with it. I just think that there's there's a space for that. Right now, the space that I'm going into is kind of, it's not really like a lot happening in that space. You know, um, Kevin Kevin Hart lately has been doing a lot of dramas and he's doing um, um, comedy action. You know, I want to show other types of comedy and stuff as well, you know. And, and, Y'all do and, like dry comedy? I you like, like, dry, I like dry comedy. It's funny. She like white comedy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Say it. Say it. It's white I comedy. I want to let you know right That's now. That's not true because Kevin Hart just did a whole thing and it was dry comedy. Uh, anyway. he, he usually does the other shit. Yeah, but he and right, he did uh, dry comedy. Yeah, but it's white comedy. She's just like right. right. so. <laughs> We this was actually a great show. Um, it was. My man Khalif came on here, did some educating. Yeah. Um, he said he wanted to show her in a different light, even though she got yeah, the to now. He the was going. He, he wanted to put her as a publicist the same yeah, way. Is that our reality, or are most girls that have your figure working? What's the? I don't opposite? know why y'all. Can think I ask you one thing? Because we have to leave. Do, but I, I didn't do. say that. Didn't say what, what does the? What's the opposite of the publicist? If you had her doing he the record, no, he, said he that. already he said, said the, the person star. with the publicist. No, that's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he was, that was a slick. That's I want the real said. one. I want the, I want the real one. Oh that was my a slick God, one. That's what other, what he said. Real quick, before we get out of here, what other role could you see? Do would you put her in? A lawyer. Because I'm op- good at that. Because the opposite of a lawyer is what the criminal. The, per- the criminal. Well, I ain't a fucking criminal. I'm definitely going to get us out of here now. No, you wait a fucking second. I ain't no fucking criminal, okay? <laughs> For Billboard Death, I'll give you one second. What you going to say? You ain't know what? I ain't no fucking criminal. So, for fuck? Billboard Death, listen, for my guy, Khalif Jones, they go make sure you go get self love and make sure you're there this Thursday to see Up Close Birds in the theaters. My movie, Last Strike with Me, Sean, written by Khalif. Jones and directed by J Tech um, under Geek Funny Productions. And we also got, you know, the criminal, the the publicist, the slash lawyer. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mean exit girl. myself out. Mean girl angel, you know. And to the guy who is not funny, Gee Funny. That's it. I'm Gee, the guy that got funny. See y'all next week. Peace. Peace.